My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father, no mother, no fear. An itching urge for vengeance is what brought me here. My father died in a work accident four years ago today. Well, I don't believe in accidents. I believe someone should pay. I came back to the city in search of answers and for the man who ruined my life, B.B. Wolf. So, in case you doubt it, this is no fairy tale, because there is nothing fair about it. I arrived 14 days ago and sought a place to hide. An old woman rented me this dusty attic, and since I must lay low, I left my room only at night. I hadn't set foot in Ulrica since I was about eight years old. I heard about its downfall from the papers father brought home and the stories he then told. Though we lived in the forest, father came to work here every single day and witnessed this once blooming city wilt and fade away. Today is a big day, for after two weeks of exploration, I'm off to break into the city archives and retrieve some information. I'm not after a bloodbath, I want justice. So fingers crossed I get there without getting noticed. Granny hugged me goodbye with tears in her eyes. She handed me a basket filled with food. I promised to come back soon with answers and with B.B. Wolf's blood on my hood. This place has changed. The curfew cleared the streets and drapes went down along with the sun. Bibi Wolf's iron fist was like a punch to Ulrika's face, bruising the memory of his late father's reign and the city's glory days. The only faces in Ulrika today are the ones on these posters. Hundreds of girls gone missing. Hundreds of families cut apart. Aw, oh, come on! That's not very pedestrian friendly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Over time, tin replaced flesh and blood. In the factory as well as in the streets, driving families into poverty and honest men to dishonest deeds. this tree climbing as a kid finally paid off. <gasps> okay, so you guys keep on doing that and pretend I'm not here. behind my father's death was buried along with his body. Lips were sealed and the case was closed, but not for me. I had already lost a parent. This simply couldn't be. For weeks I cried. For months I couldn't speak. Until finally, I was done feeling so broken and weak. I asked Granny to teach me how to hunt and how to fight. Now, at last, I'm ready to make things right. At least Wolf was kind enough to install a cable ride across the river. Kudos. My biceps are going to be sore tomorrow. Don't mind me, guys.
the city archives, where the investigation of father's death was put to rest. I must get inside. Yeah, no way I can sneak past those bastards. Where you belong. These piles of paper, covered with dust and lies, might just contain a clue to help me uncover the truth. Suspect in the disappearance of Ulrika's women, and my father's death as well? Who is this creature from hell? An ugly face, hiding ugly secrets. And an even uglier contractor, so it seems. Looks like the sewer is my next stop. Well, I'm ready to crack open this can of worms. Now, how about a tin opener? <laughs> Even better. Let's go find that filthy rat. sharpening my axe there. Mary sat beside me in third grade. Her hair was fair, her skin so bright. Her mind, not so much. She copied my homework. I ate her lunch. One day, Mary's mother sat in the principal's office crying. We instantly knew, yet another girl in the Yet another mystery in tomorrow's paper. Her seat remained empty, as did mine the following day. Her father and granny agreed the city was no longer a safe place for me to stay. Well, this is a part of town I've never been before. Wouldn't recommend it to visitors, that's for sure. <laughs> Home to rats and bats, and to that musical piece of kidnapper scum. I 
can't wait to break his flute and make that bastard forever mute. Must be friends with that other rat. The one with the feet, right? Believe it or not, normally I love all animals. Lovely odor. I wish I'd left my nose at home today. My own feet to the fire wasn't exactly what I had in mind.
Someone should really send a plumber down here. When father met my mother, it was love at first sight. Marriage soon followed with a handful of guests and a spit-roasted pig. Their future looked bright. Until one day, she didn't come home. On the table was a note. I'm picking flowers in the woods. Another search notice in the paper. An insufferable tragedy for the hoods. Even uglier in the flesh. What's your plan? Hit me with that dreadful flute? The only thing that hurts is my ears. Was it you who took my mother? And what about my father, Joseph Hood? Speak, or stay forever mute. Someone's been overfeeding you. What a play, furry bastard. Woohoo! This axe kicks a major ass! Or is it me? Jock, your mother must be proud. I'll get you. Just you wait. So, this is where he's hiding. Not only his creep self, but those poor girls as well. I can smell their fear. The bad dreams haunting them at night. Their pillows wet with tears. Mothers unaware of their plight. The devil's dormitory spooks the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> 